I think some of the, the biggest issues from a fire safety point of view is simply um, a lack of knowledge and familiarity with the product. Mass wood has properties of fire resistance based on the fact that wood chars and, and charring of wood is a, a natural protection against fire. Steel is considered a non-combustible material and wood is considered a combustible material. But if you compare the two in its raw form and if you don't protect the steel with drywall or, or, or protective paint and if you just put them in a fire, the wood will outperform the steel. The steel will melt and fail. The wood will char and maintain its integrity. Mass timber chars, you know, up to a point and then stops. It's actually safer in a lot of applications than steel or concrete. I think most people's fear of fire and wood has to do with standard two by four hollow wall construction. And if you have solid timber, you don't have these empty air spaces that fire can travel in. The char which forms in fire is uh, measurable, it's predictable, um, and we can use that from an engineering point of view to ensure that we have adequate protection. People still have historic notions of fire safety related to lightweight framing and uh, you know historic fires in buildings and cities where fire suppression systems didn't exist. There was a ban on, on all of those practices. So now we know a lot more about how wood performs in fires, how to detail connections to prevent fires from becoming an issue. And, uh, and that's really started to change and we've started to learn to build with wood again.